they're running, I don't want to be standing right yeah, there with my kidding. back I, on them and somebody run into me. I didn't take you for a fullback for back I don't the think day. anybody's that dumb to run into the head coach. <laughs> I don't think it'd have anything to do with the intelligence. <laughs> it'd just be they're trying to get the job done. Coach, the story of last year was all the injuries that you guys had to go through um, and getting you through that season. Where are you guys at right now heading into your season opener next week? I think, uh, you know, our guys are doing a great job of preparing themselves. Uh, we, we're, this was our really our first day of installation for Cal. Uh, split the teams up, started working against uh, what we're going to see. And I think the guys are doing a great job of preparing. So, uh, you know, we're going to we'll see as we go through. Uh, you know, we'll have a mock game this uh, Saturday, so that'll give us a lot of uh, ideas of where we are. Anthony Ratliff Williams stepped forward as a player last year. How has he blossomed as a leader for this team going into the season? Yeah, he's done a tremendous job. I mean, any any time, uh, I mean, he's made, you know, a lot of guys will make a play here and there, and throughout camp, throughout all the practices, Ant's going to make a big play every day. I mean, it's just something that, you know, we've become accustomed to. Uh, he just has a knack for it. He, he does, uh, you know, he's been pretty special in the way he runs his routes these days. Was today the, the first day of Cal Prep? Yes, yes, first day of install for Cal. So training camp is officially over and you guys are into oh, yeah. a game? Tra training camp was over Sunday night at uh, 9.30 when, the, when we walked out of that last meeting. And so then the guys had Monday off. Uh, they started classes on Tuesday and we had a practice yesterday. But it wasn't all on, it wasn't on Cal, it was still on us. And then uh, today was our first install with Cal. Is Aside the from all no full go in practice with uh, in terms of this off? I know he's right there. but. Looks pretty good to me. <laughs> Is he practicing with you all full contact with that? It's been practicing. Aside from Cole, uh, what have you seen from that group, the linebackers that you've liked in camp? And well, John Smith is doing a great job. I mean, he's he, he picked up right where he left off in spring. I mean, he's done a you know a really good job. And then Dominique Ross has uh, you know had reps, and now he's getting more reps, and so he's doing a good job. The younger guys, we're bringing along as we go. You know. Uh, Matt Flint and uh, uh, Gimmel has uh, stepped up and, and made a bunch of plays, you know, so he's uh, he's a guy that's going to factor in. What, what, con go ahead. what concerns said. you about that group? <laughs> that, it's Brent. I, he wore an avocado shirt. I, I get to go before him. <laughs> what what concerns you about that group other than maybe some well, of the Well, I mean, you got, you got a couple guys that have a lot of experience and then you have a bunch of guys that don't have experience. They're athlete, uh, athletes and they and they run around and they'll hit you, but they got to know what to do. You know, you're, you know, the days of uh, you just go over there and, and chase the ball and, and tackle it, 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 I mean, that doesn't happen anymore. You, you got you to gotta be able to think, you got to be able to call the defense, you got to be able to get people lined up, and then you got to be able to make adjustments within the game. And so it's, uh, you know, it's, you, you have to think, you have to be able to think and process, that's the biggest deal. You know, they know what to do, but processing at the speed of what the game's played is the toughest part. All right, have you right. settled on five guys on the offensive line yet, or is it still pretty fluid? We're, uh, I think we're, we're, we're pretty close. You know, we've settled on, I would probably say, the uh, all but the right guard spot. Yeah. And how are those guys looking? You know, it's a, I mean, you know, it's, that's something that, that the offensive line, anytime you're putting new guys out there, they've got to get as many reps as possible. You know, it's going to be interesting to see as we go through the game plan, because here's the deal. We've been running with the whole offense. You know, now as we start narrowing thing, things down for a game plan, guys can start concentrating. We'll see more continuity. We'll see better things. So neither of those guys, you know, Billy Ross and William Barnes, either of them have separated themselves a little bit at all? Not yet. Not yet. So, you know, right now both of them can play. In what couple of areas has Nick Polino grown the most in the last 12 months? Yeah, he, I mean, he knows everything. He knows every every adjustment there is to the offense. He's not going to make mental mistakes. He's going to be able to communicate with guys. He's going to be able to teach younger guys. I mean, so that's nice, you know, because JJ hadn't had a lot of reps in there. So Polino next to him, Polino's able to calm him down, be able to talk him through things and have uh, have some good communication up front. J JK Britt's a player has been with you all for four years now. He's just obviously the starter spot starts from last year with nine miles an hour. What do you like on JK Britt? One, there? he's got a lot of experience and he's very comfortable now. I mean, he's, uh, you know, he, because he's been here a long time, he's one of the, the oldest guys back there. And so, you know, he's played a lot of meaningful reps over the time. But now he's uh, he's one of the guys now. And he's, you know, I can tell you in both of our scrimmages, he made a lot of plays. How have you seen Nathan Elliott progress since, since it became official that he was going to be the starting quarterback going into the season? He hadn't changed a bit. I mean, that, that's the thing about Nathan. He's always very level-headed. Uh, he's very calm. You don't see him get too high. You don't see him get too low. You know, which is good characteristics of a, of a good leader, you know. I mean, uh, everybody knows he's going to be pretty solid. He's going to be like a rock, and, and uh, that's that's good to know. Do you have any clarity on who his backup is at this point? No. 
has the offense move like you see it wanted to move uh, when the Elliot is running the offense and everything? There's times when it is, and there's times when it's not, you know, so uh, which is typical of this time. So, and then, like I said, as we start narrowing down the game plan and start focusing on what we're really going to do at Cal, then we should see all of those things start flowing smoothly. What is an area that. Oh, I like I like everything that Daz Newsom is doing this camp. I love what uh, Thomas Jackson's doing. Uh, Bo Corrales has had a had a great camp. I mean, he really has. I mean, that guy's come a long way uh, since his freshman year, you know. And so, uh, you know, and then Diami. I mean, for a true freshman, that kid's that kid's gonna you know he's gonna help us this year. And he's made a lot of plays for us in the fall. What is an area that Patrice Ren uh, He's he's got some personal issues that he's dealing with right now. Is he on What's, campus? No. What's an area that Patrice Rene, you need to see him grow coming into this camp, and has he done that? Has he, has he developed that? Way? I mean, it's, it's really, <clears throat> Patrice has all the physical tools that you need to be a, an elite corner. And uh, so really, it's just making sure that the communication between the safeties and him, everything's locked in, and there are no mental mistakes. You know, as he starts eliminating those and processing quicker, so he's going to be able to Consistency stay maybe been an issue for him? Have you seen that? Have yeah, you seen been better consistency, but we're always looking for consistency. All right, thank you, folks. Thank you, All folks. Right. Thanks, Thanks, Coach. Appreciate it.